So we are excited that the ISCAD registry is now up and running and we've actually re recruited our first uh, group of patients and that is going to be a multi-site study that uh, we're currently at 16 sites around the United States and these are sites that see a lot of SCAD patients and they will be enrolled at the site but we have a central data coordinating center which is the Perfuse Research Group here in Boston and it's really nice because the Perfuse group actually isn't seeing the patients they're looking at the data and helping us analyze the data in a very scientific fashion and each site that contributes patients will have buy-in into the research that's being done and will have a chance to look at the data and contribute and that's really why we really wanted to do this because we wanted all of the sites that are busy taking care of patients to be able to collaborate with the ongoing research efforts we also recognize that with small groups of patients, like for instance, at Massachusetts General Hospital, we've seen and have in our registry around 200 patients. Well, that's great to look at some particular observational data outcomes, but it's really not a great way to look at long-term outcomes or specific factors with any statistical significance because it's such a small number. In cardiology, we're used to studies that have 10 or 15,000 patients, so with taking a group as large as you know 15 or 16 sites or even more we're hoping that over the next several years we'll be able to come up with several thousand patients to ask some of the most pressing research questions one of which is if SCAD is associated with pregnancy is it dangerous for a SCAD patient to go on and have another pregnancy or have a pregnancy after SCAD? We really don't know the answer to that question, but that is a question that really impacts many women in a very direct form, the safety of going on and, and having a baby, and especially it affects those who've never had a child. And so we really need some answers to help our patients.